both Democrat and Republican politicians ripping into President Obama for freeing former Army Private Chelsea Manning, convicted of stealing and leaking hundreds of thousands of pages of battlefield and diplomatic secrets to WikiLeaks back in 2010. Now, back then, both Hillary Clinton and Obama at the time attacked Manning, saying she was deplorable because she put lives at risk. She exposed secret U.S. plans in the fight in Iraq and Afghanistan, the fight against al-Qaeda and the Taliban, the use of Gitmo, as well as informants. Now, Manning's leaks were even found on Osama bin Laden's computer, and that's according to a Navy SEAL. Political analyst Charles Krauthammer pointing out that President Obama's hypocrisy for arguing that the Podesta WikiLeaks email leaks were unpardonable. Listen. Here we have a guy, Manning, a woman now, who released information that had to do with our actions in ongoing wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, including the identification of people who were working for us, many of whom we can presume were hunted down and killed as a result. I think it is simply astonishing that the president at the same time would be so exercised over the Podesta releases through WikiLeaks uh, and then be extending, commuting the sentence of Chelsea Manning. Now, my next guest has personally traveled to Washington to implore the president to pardon her son, Christian Saucier. He's the father of a one-year-old baby. He is currently serving a year in federal prison for taking pictures inside his Navy submarine. Let's welcome his mother, Kathleen Saucier, and her attorney, Jeffrey Attica. Join me now. Kathleen, President Obama is saying Chelsea's 35-year sentence was too long. It didn't fit the crime. What are your thoughts? Uh, well, first, Liz, let me say thank you for allowing us to be on again to speak up. I want to correct. Actually, it was Jeffrey Attica, who's also on from San Diego, that traveled to Washington, D.C. Um, so I'm just screaming again. I was screaming before with regards to the double standards with Hillary Clinton. But I'm screaming now about the fact that my son took six photos of a lowest level of classification area, never transmitted those photos. They were on his phone. And he's sitting in federal prison. And Chelsea Manning, is uh, her sentence is commuted with 750,000 emails that compromised our national security. There's no evidence whatsoever that any of my son's pictures were ever given to anyone, any enemy. There was no intent whatsoever where Chelsea Manning clearly had an intent to share those documents. I am disgusted. I am embarrassed by our country, by our president of the United States. He received the pardon paperwork, and there's no reason why he shouldn't be pardoning my son and fully uh, bestowing his, his benefits back to him. I'm just disgusted by what's going on. You know, I hear you, Kathleen. You've been on the show numerous times. And, Jeffrey, what we're trying to figure out, and I think the viewers are trying to figure out, too, is uh, Obama has now granted more commutations and pardons than any president in history, more than the past dozen presidents combined. Uh, he's even released a terrorist in Puerto Rico who killed four people. They did much worse yeah, than Kathleen's son. So why won't President Obama help Kathleen's family? That's a good question. And, uh, you know, he's done more in terms of clemency by far than any previous president. Uh, you know, this case, I did 20 years in the military. I was a senior legal advisor to all the Green Berets, so I know about classified things. Uh, and this individual, can, you know, committed misconduct. Chris committed misconduct. He's admitted to that. But the gross punishment that he received from the Department of Justice is what has really energized a lot of Americans, myself included, because other sailors that did the same thing, as your listeners know and your viewers know, received non-judicial punishment. The Navy handled them. The reason that Chris was caught uh, up in this vortex is because of Hillary Clinton. The DOJ was being criticized that they weren't taking classified information serious, uh, seriously, so they took Chris and they, they crucified him and they made him an example and a scapegoat. Okay. So the, the misconduct is, um, is not in keeping with the punishment. And so we're, we're asking President Trump, because I've given up on President Obama, to fast track this, uh, get this to his desk and, and make a determination for, for Chris sooner than later. Kathleen, is, uh, tell us what President Obama's administration has said to you and tell us what President-elect Trump's transition team has said to you. So I've received nothing from President Obama or this administration, even though I've reached out multiple times over the past few years during this, as well as recently, we've received nothing in response to that. Um, as far as President Trump, we've also reached out to them 
and um, during the election as well as recently we're submitting the packet to his transition team as well in hopes that they will also consider this um, as uh, Professor Atticott mentioned the extreme punishment that occurred to my son due to the political atmosphere at the time. Has Trump's team gotten back to you? Um, not as of yet, and okay. we're hopeful that they will. We recognize that there's not really much that they can do until mm -hmm. he does take office, um, but we're very hopeful that okay. they will, inc you know, receive our packages that we've sent um, with the pardon, the same uh, that Jeffrey uh, actually physically brought to Washington, D.C. last week. Um, so we're very, very hopeful that someone's going to listen to this. And, you know, as we've talked about in the past, my son's life has been ruined. Um, we're hopeful that he'll have a future, but that will determine a lot on what happens as we go forward. He's losing everything. He's lost his military career that he was so proud to serve. Okay. His family, his wife, his daughter are struggling financially. And it's just, it's just a travesty what's happened to our family. And ex absolutely, my son has accepted responsibility for taking six photos. This is something that got me irate. I heard what uh, okay. President Obama said about Chelsea Manning, that she accepted responsibility. Well, my son did as well, and he's sitting in prison for six photos that were never transmitted. All right, Kathleen and Jeffrey, thank you so much for your time. Kathleen and, you, and Jeffrey, come back soon, okay? We want to hear the update on this story. Thanks again.